It's September, football season's about to start, and I want to talk to you guys today about Kirk Cousins and Case Keenum. Obviously, Kirk Cousins is the current Vikings quarterback. The last guy to have that job was Case Keenum. While he was here, the team went 13-3, and he went to the NFC Championship game, and through the Minneapolis Miracle. And then they let him walk in the offseason, he went and got more money somewhere else, and they paid a lot of money to bring Kirk Cousins in to replace Case Keenum. I mean, in general, Kirk Cousins got a lot of money, so that's going to bring criticism, right? And the quarterback position in football is always going to bring criticism. But especially when you let the last guy go who had success here to bring in somebody new, there's going to be criticism, right? You're going to always be compared in every game, every throw even, you might say, well, the other guy might have made that play. I think the comparisons have gotten less and less because of the success or lack thereof of Case Keenum since leaving the Minnesota Vikings. And Kirk Cousins has, has silenced some critics in the in the couple years that he's been here um with you know that postseason win against the saints last year uh went a long way i think but obviously he still got his critics and obviously there's still going to be plenty of people that can't let case keenum go that still want case keenum right um i'm not in that camp i'm really not trying to to settle that debate right now i want to point out the differences between the two quarterbacks kirk cousins is a very calculated guy not just quarterback as a person um i read something that said that he every day he has planned out every 10 minutes of every day and i do think that his his scheduling his planning his meticulous attention to detail is a big reason why he's had the success he's had i think that's why he's become such a successful quarterback because the work that he puts in the um the timing and the training and the the way that he can kind of read the defenses and study his playbook and and understand uh, what plays need to be made here and there. I do think that's a big part of his success. And I and I do think that he's an extremely talented quarterback. And I do think that his talent might be as good as anybody in the league. But here's the caveat. It's when things are going well. When the line protects him, when there's not a lot of pressure, like actual pressure in his face, but also like the game doesn't have a lot of pressure, he's fantastic. He might be as good as anybody in the league in perfect conditions. But what happens when things don't go in according to plan? That's when Kirk Cousins struggles. And unfortunately for him, in football, that happens a lot, right? Mike Tyson's saying everybody has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Kirk Cousins has a plan. He's very meticulous and detail-oriented, but, but when there's pressure in his face and when there's, when there's pressure on him, he struggles. And he doesn't do well having to improvise and deviate from that plan, right? Case Keenum, the reason why people miss Case Keenum and the reason why Case Keenum had the success he had, honestly, in 2017, and the reason he was able to throw that miracle is because even though Case Keenum doesn't have, uh, isn't at the level of, of Kirk Cousins, I don't think he has the talent of Kirk Cousins. I don't think he's as good as Kirk Cousins when things are going well, but Case Keenum excelled when things were falling apart when the line collapsed and he had to improvise, when his first second, when his first read, second read, third read wasn't open and he had to keep going down the thing or he had to, to scramble out of the pocket and make a play and make something happen when he had to just Brett Favre it. That's when Case Keenum succeeded. And that's when Kirk Cousins struggles the most because when you're a planner like that, it's really hard to improvise. I said all of that about football. Hopefully you guys are still following me. Hopefully you're Vikings fans. Uh, so you know what I'm talking about and you understand this, but I'm using these two quarterbacks, comparing these two quarterbacks um, for the way that you approach life. I'm a planner by nature. I like to have a plan. I like to, I would love to have my day planned out every 10 minutes. I think that sounds fantastic. The problem is life doesn't go well according to plan, right? I have a plan to be at work at eight o'clock. What happens if I get a flat tire? There's just so much of life that's unpredictable, right? Uh, whatever five year plan you might've had for your life probably got a little off track during 2020. So now what do you do, right? You, you, you couldn't plan for a global pandemic. You couldn't plan for the death of a good friend. You couldn't plan for all of the stuff that, that happened that's going on. It, it just can't be planned for. So much of life is not about planning, but about reaction and about how you handle pressure. So I'm saying all of this to say, to talk about these two quarterbacks to show you it's great to have a plan, right? It's good to have that Kirk Cousins in you and have a plan and schedule things out and have a goals and steps to achieve those goals. You also have to have a little case key to me. You gotta be able to step up in pressure and you have to be able to improvise when things don't go according to plan. 